Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another reading vlog. As I'm sure you saw by the title, this reading vlog is going to be surrounding the Among Us readathon happening this month. And yes, I am participating and I am a black crewmate with the little cat ears because that's just my aesthetic, obviously. If you've been here, you know I'm a cat lover, so... If you watched my TBR video, you know the prompts and you know what I'm reading. If not, I will go over very quickly what the plan is. And I did make a little graphic to kind of have like a checklist to know what I am doing for the readathon. So the first thing to do is to fix the wiring, which is to read a sequel. The other option was to swipe your card and read standalone but I'm reading a sequel because I am buddy reading a book with my friend Ariel and so I am reading The Damned by Renee Audier. I took the dust jacket off because I was reading in the bath and so I am actually over halfway through. We are reading 50 pages a day and today is the 6th of January in case you were wondering so I am going to be reading to page 300 which means I should be done with this by Friday. So far uh ugh. I'm not liking it as much as the first one. Obviously I can't really say too much about it because it is the sequel and I try not to do many spoilers on here, but I'll just say that so far, 250 pages in, I'm not liking it as much as the first one. So unless something very surprising and exciting happens, I don't think I'm gonna be very happy with my rating, but that's fine. This is the first prompt. Uh, then we have to start the reactor, which is to read a romance, and then we have four fuel... fuel what? I probably should have been more prepared for this. Then we have four fuel engine prompts, so part one through four. I am going to probably try to read these in order, because that makes sense. Like, in the game, you can only do, like, the first part and move on. But I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I do know that... The plan is to at least start the reactor very shortly with The Kiss of Deception by Mary Pearson. This was the one I picked for it. And I thought this was a lot shorter than it was, but this is actually almost 500 pages. It does not look that thick. Like, it does not look as thick to me. Or, I guess it does kind of look that thick. I was just surprised. So, I think I'm going to start this one today. And then the other one that I'm going to probably start soon is the Fuel Engines Part 1, which is to purchase my most recent, no, read my most recent purchased book. And so I'm going with the one that was most recent when I made my TBR, which is What You Wish For by Catherine Center, which is an ebook. So that is kind of where I'm planning to start. And Obviously, like I said, this one should be done by Friday, and I'm going to try to get through about 100 pages of this today. I'd wanted to start it yesterday, and it just kind of didn't happen, and that's fine. But I am feeling like reading right now, so I'm definitely going to get my pages read in The Damned. And then I have a few errands I have to run today. What time is it? It's 10.15. I actually woke up decently today. Yesterday, I didn't wake up till 11 because I am a butthead. Um... <laughs> But I actually have not been sleeping very well, so I guess I needed to sleep. But I have a few errands to run today, uh, an appointment at 2, so I'm going to try to get some reading done now and maybe fit in a walk with Stormy before I run my errands. It's just we live in a place where there's no real good place to walk, so I might just try to get in a short one somehow. And yeah, that's kind of what's going on today. I don't think I'll be updating you guys again today with reading. That could change, but my goal is to focus on reading today and less on the vlogging. So you might see a montage, but as for me updating you on the reading progress, probably not going to happen today. I'm very tired still and I think I need coffee. I was really trying not to have coffee today, but... So that is the plans for the beginning of this readathon. I will be sure to check back in with you guys soon when I have finished my tasks as it's important to finish those tasks as a crewmate so I don't look sus. So I'm going to go ahead, go get to reading, and I will be back with an update hopefully tomorrow.
Good morning, friends. It is like 9.45. I have an appointment over in Clarion today to get my FBI fingerprinting done for job. Uh, I guess, have I even talked about that in this vlog or in my last vlog? I don't think I did. I will have to do that. Um, so when I get back, I will explain it. But I want to pop on and let you know that I did read yesterday. I read over 100 pages. I read f almost 60 in The Kiss of Deception and obviously my 50 pages of The Damned. And I have not read anything yet today. I woke up at like uh, a little after 8.30 and then stayed in bed till 9. And again, now I have to leave. So I really haven't had that much time. But obviously today I would really like to read and I don't really have anything else I need to do besides this appointment, so we should have plenty of time to read and hopefully at least get another 100 pages read today. That would be a good goal. But I might stop at a few stores while I'm over in Clarion. I haven't decided yet because I really don't feel like being outside my house. But, I mean, I'm going to be near Walmart, so I have the opportunity to stop there if I want to. So we'll see. But... So far, I am very much enjoying The Kiss of Deception. I really am liking the writing style. It's kind of reminding me of, like, The Princess Bride for some reason. I don't know why. It, it's not really like that at all, but it's reminding me of it. And The Damned is still going not great. So <laughs> that's how it's going. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn on some tunes and head over to Clarion. Don't want to be outside, like I said, but we got to do this. So I will be back to update you guys with reading and life when I get back home. Maybe I will be stopping at the store and you'll see that, but I don't know. So I will see you guys later. Now I got to go do things. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm actually driving and I'm going on a weird mission to find the mini evergreen tree to dig up and plant on my porch. Uh, to explain a little bit about that, I am someone who really likes to feed the birds and I got a whole bunch of bird feeding stuff for Christmas. So I want to create more of like a natural habitat on my porch. And so I think if I go find a mini evergreen tree, then I will uh, be able to do that. So I'm gonna go into the woods and try to dig up a tree. So that's what we're doing, in case you're wondering. Good morning friends. Today is Friday and I have a few things going on but I am not leaving the house today. So I am making this kind of a home day where I do things at home. I do have a virtual appointment coming up in about 10 minutes so that's the first thing I'm doing. I have been slowly cleaning my kitchen uh, but today I have a few things I'm planning to do. So yesterday I'm sure you guys remember me talking about the trees and stuff. Well, I set up my little bird sanctuary outside with lots of bird feeders. I will make sure to insert a clip here. And so I kind of want to do some bird photography from my couch because I have it set up where they all come in and are pretty comfortable. So I have a setup for that there. I also would like to clean my house as I'm going to be home today and then tomorrow I'm not going to be home. And I also am going to be reading, of course. So, today is a big day because I'm going to be finishing. Sorry, I'm watching the birds. I'm going to be finishing The Damned by Renee Audier. And so that will be my second book read for the month. If you were curious as to what the first book I read this month was, I have a separate vlog up for that. But after I finish that, I'm going to continue on in The Kiss of Deception, which is the other book that I've started because I was really enjoying it and I'm about 60 pages in. So if I could get maybe like 60 more pages in, that would be pretty cool. And so yeah, that is kind of what's going on. And so I have a lot I'd like to get done. It is almost 10 o'clock, but I have plenty of time because I am a speedy at most of the things I do. So the thing that I won't be able to speed at is bird pictures. So I'm going to actually go into a different room for a while and let them get acclimated again to the door being open uh, because I did spook them a little bit when I opened the door. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to go get ready for that appointment 
and then hopefully I'll be able to update you guys again later with reading progress and my final thoughts on The Damned as I'll be finishing it today. Hi friends, it is now 1.30 so I have been doing things since I last talked to you. I did finish The Damned and I gave it a very generous 2.5 stars. <laughs> I never thought I would be disappointed by a Rene Audier book, but I was very upset with the fact that that one was so bad. Like, the biggest good things I can say about it were obviously her writing style, and it was, like, very fast to get through. I like her writing style. That's a part of the reason why I've liked her other books. And there were also a few, like, steamy scenes that, like, kept me engaged, but that was, like, maybe two or three chapters of the whole book. Everything else was pretty bad. I did not, like, have any care for any of the characters. I did not like any of the plot at all, and I just was just very upset. And so I did not like that book. And unfortunately, I don't even think I'll be continuing on with the series because that just put a bitter taste in my mouth. Moving on to better things, I am currently reading The Kiss of Deception. I am almost to page 100. I'm on chapter 13, and I am still very much enjoying this one. I love how the author is making it so you don't know who the prince or the assassin are. You only are, like, learning clues when you're in Leah's perspective, the princess. And so anytime we are in the assassin or prince's perspective we don't know anything about them except for their like inner thoughts we don't know hair color or name and so like we're just being described or Leah's describing them in her thoughts and it's just I really do like that it's kind of like a mystery like who's who and like I have guesses but obviously we don't know for sure so I'll be interested to see when that's revealed but I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm glad because again I've heard really good things about this series and so I had high hopes and about 100 pages in, I'm enjoying it. So I am going to try to get to maybe 150 and then I don't know what I'm going to do. I did clean my house a bit and I'm just kind of relaxing on the couch. So I'm just going to read for a bit more today. And then tomorrow I have a cat clinic, so I'll probably just get a lot of cat content. I might bring my book, but I don't know if I'll be reading it or not tomorrow. But today is really just my relaxing day. I am not leaving the house. I'm just going to have some simple stuff for dinner and hopefully spend some time with Zach. So luckily I'm having a better day. Yesterday I was having like a very bad anxiety day. So it was a little rough, but I woke up better and things have been going okay today. So I'm going to continue reading and I'm really hoping that this one will at least be a three or four star, if not a five star book, because... I need to read a good book, and I'm enjoying it so far, so I will be back. I'll be back when I have more to talk about in the vlog. Hi, friends. It is Saturday the 9th, and I am... Oh, is my lip bleeding? Damn it. I am about to be going to the cat clinic today. This is usually like a 12-hour thing, so I'm going to be very busy today dealing with cats. So I am bringing my book, The Kiss of Deception, which I am about half to over halfway through, at least halfway through, and I am not sure if I'm going to get to it, but I'm bringing it just in case, and my goal for this weekend is to finish that and start a new one. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can finish that, but... Today is mostly going to be kitty content, which I know no one's going to complain about, and this vlog is kind of just a mess because I have no idea what clips I'm going to use, what clips I'm not going to use, so yeah. But my car is just about defrosted. It was pretty cold last night, so I am going to head over. We usually start checking people in at 9, and it is 8.30, so... It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to get to Clarion, which leaves me a little bit of time to spare. So I'm going to turn on some tunes because I like listening to music in the morning when I have to drive places and then head over and uh, continue to look homeless. These gloves don't do much, but they are cute and comfy and they do give me this finger room, which I like. 
I do have another pair of gloves. Maybe not in here. Mm, that might be bad. Oh well. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm just being crazy because I'm very tired. I haven't had coffee yet today. Might not have coffee at all because I'm trying to just drink water this weekend. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to get ready to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Several days later. <sighs> this vlog is like so trash, but we're going to continue on with it. It's fine. Hopefully I can edit it into something beautiful. But today is Tuesday, January 12th, and I have a lot going on. I'm not going to lie. I have some coffee here uh, because I was not uh, prepared to leave the house right away. But it turns out I have a surprise meeting this morning that I need to go to for school working purposes so that's a good thing but it did throw me off guard because she was like um yeah can you come in this morning and I was like what but yeah I'm gonna be doing that so hopefully everything will be lined up so that I can start subbing next week because they all they have to do is the school board has to approve me and that is supposed to be on Monday and then I can start subbing and getting money I am very excited to like hopefully have a good February with money and just yeah excited but uh we're not just here to talk about my life we are here to talk about books and Among Us readathon so we do have some updates as I don't know when the last time I updated you was yesterday I finished The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson and I gave it a 4.5 star it was near perfection in my opinion like it was so good I really enjoyed the kind of like mystery of who's the prince, who's the um, assassin, and learning about Leah as a character. I thought she was a strong female character, and you know, she was like a tomboy, but it didn't seem overdone like it does in other fantasy books, so I did enjoy that. The reason I'm giving it a 4.5 instead of a 5 is because I'm not really sure if I want to continue on with the series. The way that the last like 10% of the book went was kind of, I don't know, it wasn't necessarily like my favorite, like it was still fine, it was quick to read, but I just am unsure if I want to continue and so I don't think it is a full 5 star for me. But definitely still close, and I would still recommend it to anyone who loves YA fantasy or fantasy in general. I thought it was really good. So that was that. And then last night, I was going to start another physical book, but I ended up laying in bed and I started my ebook. So I started What You Wish For by Catherine Center. And I am about 15% of the way through, which I mean, it's a decent chunk for me just sitting in bed reading. And. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I'm not going to like it. I really enjoyed the startup of the book and like how she incorporated the plot into like the setting and the character. But the where I left off was our main character, Katie Sam. I don't know why I said Katie. Sam is, she's dealing with the fact that someone from her past is coming to where she is now and she was talking about why she left where she was before and it just seemed really childish to me. Like, I guess I need to explain it a little bit. So in the book, like I said, we're only like 40 pages in, so it's not really spoilery. Uh, the principal of the school that Sam works at uh, passes away and so they have to find a new principal and they all thought it was going to be someone in the school but it turns out that another person was hired and this person ended up being someone from Sam's old school where she taught and the whole reason why she left that school was because of this guy and I thought maybe they had like a falling out or something but no. She literally just left because she had a crush on him and he ended up dating another girl and she was like I can't do this anymore because I'm just gonna think about him all the time and so she leaves and I mean I think from like a feminist perspective that's really not my favorite thing I guess like I feel like I don't know I maybe it's because I haven't been in a position like that but I feel like especially if I really liked where I was working I would not do that 
and they don't say like she didn't even like her job or anything like if they said that, that was strictly because of this man that she left and I do not like that at all like I just think that that is so dumb so I'm a little worried Catherine Center hasn't let me down in the past but as of right now the startup of that reasoning for why this guy is a problem to her is not my favorite and I just have worries but that's where I am at reading wise I am reading my fourth book of the month which I'm proud of myself um today what am I doing today I need to edit a video to go up today should probably read some more maybe draw I don't know I don't really know I need to get ready for that meeting though I've probably been rambling for a lot it's at 10 45 and it is like bah it's 10 22 so I need to get ready for this I will talk to you guys later hopefully you enjoyed my rambling about books and hopefully later I'll have more things to talk about Hey friends, it is Wednesday at almost 12 o'clock and I just got done taking some pictures here at the shelter. I had to come over to Clarion to get my official transcripts for teaching and so I decided I would swing by and get some pictures while I was here. I am kind of feeling like getting myself Dairy Queen because the only time that I really get to have Dairy Queen is if I'm over here because it's right by the shelter and it's the closest one to us. So I might go get myself a blizzard, even though I don't need it. And then I just need to stop at the store to grab a few things and then I'm gonna go home. But last night I ended up reading from 15% to almost 60% of the way through What You Wish For by Catherine Center while before I went to bed. And so I'm definitely thinking I'm going to finish that today since I flew through it. I am still not sure where my thoughts are because on one hand it's going really fast obviously I love the writing style and I really do like the idea of like a teacher and a principal type of thing like because I'm going into teaching I, I like that I like seeing that perspective but if I'm looking at this from more like a realistic point of view I don't really like the romance that's happening and it's mostly it's not because the romance is happening now per se but like the way that they're making their past relationship happen I'm not really a fan of so as of right now I'm leaning towards a four um the biggest my biggest issue with it is that I do like that there's some hard-hitting things in here I think Catherine Center always does well with that but yeah I definitely think I'm gonna finish that today and then that will be what five books read in the month I think something like that I don't know no four books that's still that's pretty good for me so I am going to go ahead and go do the few things that I need to do and then I'm gonna head home and hopefully finish that so next time you should see me I should be giving you an update on my reading on that friends it is Thursday things got a lot more busy for me uh, for the next two days so hopefully we have some more b-roll and not just me talking because this is pretty much what this vlog is ended up being I don't know if I'm gonna split this into two parts or not I might have to I haven't started editing but I will be editing today and then I will make sure to let you know but I have not told you that I finished a book yesterday so sorry I'm trying to zip something <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, yesterday I finished What You Wish For by Catherine Center, and I am giving it a 3.5 star because I liked some elements of it. I liked that it was about a teacher, and I liked that it had a cute romance, and obviously Catherine Center has a really quick to read writing style that is enjoyable but I just thought more and more about how the romance began and like 
some of the aspects of the plot and I didn't really like them. So because of that, I'm giving it kind of like close to an average rating. And so that is my first fuel reactor prompt finished, which is very exciting, which means I only have three more prompts to fulfill, which are the rest of the fueling reactor prompts. Yesterday I had Zach pick out the next one for me, which I just kind of showed him the three that I have left and he picked out Girls of Paper and Fire. He said that looked the most interesting to him. So I think that's the next one I'm going to read. I'm going to look at the prompt list though and see what the next one is because I might need to read them in order. I don't know. I don't think they're going to like kick me out of the readathon if I don't, but yeah, so that's where we are. Now I have to go pick up a cat from Paws and take her to the vet because she is sneezing blood, which is not great. Uh, so I offered to do that and made her an appointment. So that is at noon. It is 10 o'clock now. I'm waiting for my clothes to be done in the washer. I'm going to switch them to the dryer and then head over and get her. And then tomorrow I have a big rescue mission to do. So I'm hoping I can get some footage of that and like kind of tell you guys about it. It's going to be really fun. In fact, I might just stop the vlog here today and then start with that tomorrow. That might be fun because I've read half the books I need to read. Um, but I will decide on that by tomorrow morning and then I will let you know. So that, yeah, there's like 20 cats that need rescued and it's just going to be a kind of fun, not fun time. So that's where I am at. I also have some paperwork I need to drop off at the school for work. And yeah, I am just having a good day. As for reading, we're going to pick up another book today. I just don't know which one yet. And do some editing of the vlog and see if I need to split it. So that's where we are at. And hopefully, like I said, we get some more fun stuff in this vlog. It's been pretty boring and just me talking, but that's okay. Hopefully I'm entertaining enough to keep your attention for this long. I don't know. So don't worry, I will be back and hopefully you get to see, you get to meet Time today who is going to the vet. So I will update you guys later on and yeah, updating you later on. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey friends, so it is Friday morning and I have just finished I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid and I'm not going to tell you my thoughts on it till the next vlog. Yes, that's right, you guys voted for me to split my vlogs in half so you guys are going to have to wait for vlog number two to figure out my thoughts on this one and oh boy, you don't want to miss that. So the next time I see you will be in vlog number two. Hopefully we have some more fun things and we will be finishing up the Among Us Readathon and it's going to be fun. So I will see you all then with my thoughts and I'm very excited. So hope I see you in the next vlog.